Hi, this is Michelle from Tool Farm, and today I'm going to show you a cool little trick that I learned from a couple of the Adobe guys at the After Effects World Conference in Seattle last fall. I was doing a green screen presentation, and one of the guys came up afterward and showed me this cool trick. So, this little lesson that I'm going to show you is about creating a tight garbage mat or a junk mat around your footage. The purpose of a garbage mat is to hide all of the junk that you don't need to see in your shot, like lights or any gear or tape or the edges of your green screen, stuff like that. And you don't want to waste your computer's processing power or your time removing those unneeded pixels. Normally you would use a mask to cut out those elements. If you have a large area of green like we do here up in the corners of this shot, a garbage mat will cut those areas out so that you don't need to key those. And that will speed up your keying time and allow you to focus on your edges. The method that I'm going to show you skips all of the tedious masking and it gets you right to the point of a tight mat. The idea here is to make a mat that is just a bit larger than the original footage, giving you a green outline around your actor. This green outline will be the only thing that you will need to key, so it will definitely make things fast. All of that extraneous green will not even be an issue, or the shadow. You can see a little bit of shadow behind him in a couple of spots. Now this footage is from my friend Jason, who is in the video here, and it is HDV footage. I've done a couple of pre-process steps here. I de-interlaced the footage and I also ran ABSoft Neat Video. And it does a great job on this because there was a lot of noise in the shot. First thing I'm going to do pre-compose my layer. So I'll go to Layer, Pre-compose, and I'm going to rename this. I'll call it Jason Driving. And I want to make sure that remove or move all attributes into the new composition is selected. So I'll click OK. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to turn the audio off for the top layer. So I'll have the top layer as the layer being keyed and oh, the bottom layer will be the one that you'll see through it. So the top layer will be the mat. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the bottom layer here so that when we key it you can see it a little bit better. Actually let's turn the audio off entirely here. And I'm going to apply key light to it. So apply key light to my layer. I'm going to get onto a frame that's not quite so blurry. He's moving around quite a bit. That looks good. And I'll choose the screen color, green. And you can see a bit of an edge, but it looks like a fairly clean key right now. I'm going to change the view to screen matte, and this will help me see the matte a little bit clearer. So I'm going to be adjusting the clip black and clip white on the screen here to help balance this. And I can also adjust screen balance a little bit if I like. Uh, but for now, I think clipping black and clipping white will help me get a nice edge. Now, the idea here is to have that outline around the footage. And how do I see that? It's by adjusting this shrink grow, but I can turn it up now and I won't see anything. So what I want to do is turn that bottom layer back on and select it. You can see the layer under there. And I'm going to choose Track Mat, Luma Mat, Jason Driving. And now you can see that green edge. However, it's a little bit thin. I want to thicken it up a little bit. So I'll select this top layer again and adjust the screen shrink grow to fatten it up. I could go major on it, but the idea here is to make it nice and tight. So I'll set it. I don't know, that's probably pretty good here. And now I'll play that clip over for you again. I can see a couple of spots that I need to touch up over on the bottom left, but otherwise it looks pretty good and it was certainly fast. And that's it. Pretty darn easy, eh? So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tutorials from toolfarm.com. This is Michelle Yamazaki. Thanks.